Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, Cheech from Fly Fish Food here. And we've got a pretty cool fly for you. It's a it's a variation of a classic. Everybody's seen the Crelex fly. And I think this is kind of like a Crelex slash Clouser type variation that we're going to tie. But the cool thing is we're going to put a custom barbell eye. We're going to show you how to paint up a cool eye make it look awesome anyway it's kind of interesting because uh we're going to put this plain lead barbell eye and we're going to put powder paint on it and we're going to show you how to do that now because there's a little bit of heat involved we've actually got to attach the barbell eye with wire onto the hook so i've just got uni small in gold um in a bobbin and this that's kind of the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to tie in my mar my barbell eye kind of a little bit further back like this. And it is kind of weird to, to work with. But just kind of get it on there as best you can. So see how I broke off my wire? That's actually going to be just fine. Just like that. So we're going to let that sit. Let me cut this little tag end off. And it's going to want to roll a little bit on us. That's fine. The, the paint will solidify that whole junction. So basically, once that bobbin's on there, um, we're going to take and heat it up and put it in powder paint. Okay, so I've got uh, a little uh, emergency candle. And I'm just going to heat this up for five or six seconds. Nothing crazy. And then I've got my powder paint right here in a little container. And I'm just going to kind of give it a quick dip and then shake off the additional paint. You can see how that kind of stays on there, but it's not super bright and glossy. Um, then I'm going to put it over the top of the paint again, or I mean over the, the candle again. And the important part here is that you poke the eye out. You can see how that kind of boogers up. That's fine because it'll melt right back off. Okay, so we've got our powder paint on. Uh, we've stuck this in the oven 300, and, or no, 300 degrees for 20 minutes. And now we're going to attach some black thread. And we're just going to pretend like this is a regular barbell eye. Um, it's never a bad idea to, to secure this even a little bit more. Okay, so one of the coolest new materials that we've gotten, and this is kind of what spurred my interest into tying this Crelex variation fly. Now keep in mind, this is not the original pattern. But we got in this speckled flashaboo. So this is silver. We've got gold. And the copper's pretty cool too. But you can see it's got a nice speckly pattern. Um... We've been putting it in a whole bunch of flies. So one thing about the Crelex is it uses a whole bunch of synthetic materials. So we're going to take off a healthy clump of this. And, you know, the, the tail's going to be maybe twice the length of the body. And our tail is going to come off the fly right about where my thread is.
So we've got that basically tied down. And then I'm going to just advance it forward to here. And then cover up the rest of that body. Oh, got a little squirrely on me. And then I'm going to take my thread in front of the eyes, tie that off in front of the eyes, and then come back behind the eyes again and pull it over again and tie it off right here. So if that makes any sense, that just kind of uh, solidifies that junction again. And then this next chunk, we're not going to cut as long as the tail. We're going to cut it about halfway the length of the tail. So right about there. Um, now, this is a lot more sparse than typical Crelex flies. And, uh, you know, you can tie this as, as thick as you want, but I, I prefer a sparse fly. And then for the middle, we're going to put just an accent color. This is like a bluish, purplish color we'll, we'll we'll post the the exact color on the the video kind of hard to see against my shirt but there's the natural color so we're just going to tie in you know with a little little bit hanging over the fly like this and i moistened it a little bit so it's a little bit easier to manage so I'm going to tie it in like that, and then I'm going to pull this over on the other side of the hook shank. That way, I'm sure I have equal amounts on both, both sides of the hook. And I'm going to trim that maybe a little bit longer than the whole body of the fly. So that's our accent piece. And then uh, for the head of the fly, we're just going to advance forward. We're going to tie in another clump of the silver right here at the head. So we're going to take this original clump that we had and uh, I'm going to tie that in maybe a little bit shorter than the, the original tail right on top here and then pull these additional fibers over and if I've played my cards right they should you know as long as they're not right in line with anything else. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but I'm just going to pull those over um, on top of the other fibers and then build up a little bit of a head. And then whip finish. So you can see that's a that's a pretty stealthy looking fly right there. Um, I'm just going to reinforce the head with flow, and underneath the the barbell eyes and this tie-in point right here. And that's it. I mean, th this is a pretty simple streamer pattern that you can tie a whole bunch of in short order. And uh, there are a whole bunch of different colors of this powder paint that you can use. Um, you could use regular barbell eyes, but uh, you know the powder paint's been something fun we've been playing with for the last little bit. Um, other than that, go and give them a try. And let us know how you do.